So right now I got the pack inside of here. I'm dumping it in, as you see. This is the onion soup mix now. This is part two. Sorry for the interruption. I had to condense, I had to uh, break the videos down because my phone will not allow me to upload big long videos anyway, so that's perfect. So what I'm doing here is now I'm rubbing this seasoning, AKA the soup into the roast. Rubbing it in here. When you, when you rub it into the meat, essentially massaging it into the meat, it actually will allow the flavor to seep in better. And then I'm also mixing it in with the vegetables. That was a pretty big pack of soup because um, which is perfect. Like sometimes you buy these boxes and uh, the packs are smaller than you need two of them. But with this kind here, you just need one because it's bigger, which is why I get the individual packs instead of the little two pack boxes. And so what I'm doing is I am rubbing it into the meats, almost, you know, like getting it in there. And then I'm situating the carrots and the potatoes and everything around it. Then you're going to get to see how a blind person deals with the heated oven. The oven is preheated, so this way um, I don't have to wait 100 years. I'm not going to spend time in a video preheating an oven. That's just crazy. Okay, so now I've done my deed. I'm going to go wash my hands off because now I've got soup seasoning and water and all sorts of junk all over it. I'm washing my hands off here. my roast, take this bag, I'm going to bunch it up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open the oven. I'm going to get myself a mitt, put it on my hand for my protection here. This oven is hot, but it doesn't scare me. I pull the shelf out slightly, so this way I'm not going to burn myself. This is a safety thing that people are told to do. So I don't want to touch the hot rack. I'm not trying to burn my hand off in kind of a third degree but you do pull the rack out because reaching in is actually pretty dangerous. So I take my pan that I made, I gingerly set it on the shelf that's been pulled out for me. Then I get the mitt, put it back on my hand and push it right back in. And there you go. So this is the second part. This video is gonna be a three part series because what you're gonna see when um, the roast is done is me getting it out. Because I'm sure you guys are pretty curious about how a blind person is going to deal with that situation. It's easy enough to put a mitt on your hand and pull the shelf out and put the dish on top of it, but then getting it out, I know you guys are probably wondering like, oh my God, it's gonna be so unsafe. Aren't you scared the juices are gonna leak? Aren't you scared you're gonna drop it? It's hot. So you're gonna get a chance to see what that's gonna be like and you will also see me check the meat to see if it's done and you'll get to learn how a blind person does that so you will enjoy the third part of the series when it's time thank you